Hi, I'm Kim Piazza. Welcome back to What's the Buzz in Western New York. Next, let me introduce you to Tom Lorenz. It was back in 1984 that he took his grandfather's service station in Depew and converted it into a van conversion and accessory center. His business has grown over the years and now Maine Mobility has helped thousands of physically challenged people and their families gain independence. We're here at Maine Mobility, and we're going to be speaking Hi. with Tom Lawrence. Hi, good, Thank good, you good. Coming. Thank you for having us. Yes. There is so much to see, so much to learn. So I will follow you. All right, let's go this way. All right. To our showroom. We're going to enter our little world of vehicle mobility. Excellent. Tom, I understand that Maine Mobility has been in business here for 30 years. Yes. And you yeah. are experts and leaders in this industry. We try to be. And, and, and you've started a new program, Just Ask Tom? Yes. Tell me um, what that is. The whole concept of that is to educate the clients that are watching TV out there to see how easy it is to become accessible with your vehicle. We'll take a vehicle like this, show you just something very, very simple. Looks like an ordinary minivan. And if somebody in your family is in a wheelchair or a scooter, this is a rear entry minivan, so we just Put the tailgate, lifts right up. I just fold this ramp right out, and the whole vehicle has been modified and tunneled down so that a person can just ride their wheelchair scooter right into the vehicle. So what we really want you to do is come in, let's find out what your needs are. Do you need a, a car? Do you need an SUV? Do you need a minivan? Do you need a full-size van? Do you need a pickup truck? And once we evaluate that, then we'll help you make those decisions as to, you know, where is it going to be best to purchase the vehicle, and then how can we help you accommodate and modify it. And people coming in and, and, and speaking with you and sharing this information with you, it doesn't limit their options. No. Actually, it's going to broaden, broaden their options. They, they may not even realize there's things out there that makes their lifestyle so much easier. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and coming to see you is free time. <laughs> yes, and we always have coffee on. So oh, even better. Even, even better. Even better. Even better. You know, share with us how a vehicle with a ramp or a vehicle with a, a handle or an adaptation is going to open things up for people. Okay, I'll start by this. There's a big misconception of our industry. People think that because I'm working with you know individuals with disabilities, I've got the little grandmas from a nursing home. That's really not our client base. We, we like to define our client base as saying active people. And that's from infancy to 99, and I have clients all in that range. So they're the people who do not want to just sit at home and look out the window. You want to go shopping, you want to go bowling, you want to uh, participate in family events and uh, any, anything that you, know, you and I do on a normal basis. Well, once you become in a wheelchair or a scooter, there's some limitations of how you get in and out of a vehicle. So again, infant to whatever age group, that's, that's my client base. Yeah. So now we have to look at what are the right vehicles. Well, if you're in a wheelchair and you're not gonna be transferring into a seat, how are you gonna get that wheelchair into that vehicle? Now, I, we just had an example here. We showed you uh, how we'd enter into a rear uh, situation here. But that's not gonna be right for everybody. If you wanna drive and you wanna drive out of your wheelchair, I'll show you a side entry vehicle where you can kind of go over take here. Me over. And I'll take me over. I'll follow you. Okay. We've got this brand new Honda here. And with the simple press of a remote control button, the side door is going to open up. The suspension is going to kneel down on this vehicle, making the egress very negotiable for anybody in a wheelchair. So currently, the vehicle is pulling down right now. And this ramp came out. And you will be able to ride your wheelchair right into this. I can open up the door and show you now. Both these seats are removable. So we just, with the simple pull of a lever, I can remove either the driver or passenger seat. And if you wanted to be driving this vehicle with your wheelchair, you'll enter right in, uh, go right behind the steering wheel, and we would put a hand control device under the steering wheel, and that's how you'd operate it. And you have the world at your feet. Yes. And still room for three kids in the back. Awesome. Now, I understand that, of course, you have um, the side of your business that will assist with, um, you know, this is families, this is individuals going to work, going going out to play, but you also have vehicles for um, that would be more commercial. Correct. Uh, we like to call it like multiple transporting. So uh, many of the agencies in town, which we're all aware of, Aspire, People, Inc., Heritage Centers, Cladall Commission, uh, just to name a few, 
uh, will purchase a larger vehicle. Mm -hmm. And we have a manufacturing division in our back where we call it the adaptive van. And we build upwards to two to 300 of these vehicles a year. And you also service these vehicles. Yeah, we do. Tom, you have all of this wonderful equipment for adaptability in these vehicles, but like anything, things break down, yeah, things do. need service. You do that here. We do that, yes. Show us your service okay, department. Let's go to our department. This okay. way? Here we go. This is the service center. Yes, it is. Wow, there's a lot of action going on in here. Well, you know what? The wheelchairs coming in and out, some of these vehicles get a lot of use and a lot of abuse. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. um, oftentimes there's repairs that need to be done. Uh, one of the things in western New York is our salt. We're one of the few counties that put so much salt on, so there's a lot of service issues because of the rust and, and on the metals with the salt. I know with service issues, people can um, people can be kind of you know trepidatious about the um, expediency of service. Mm -hmm. How do you guys handle that? Well, we have a good service team. They're all certified technicians, and we have a 24-hour hotline. We have van rentals available or loaners if uh, somebody needs it. One of the things that we recognize in our industry is when their vehicle's down, they can't get anywhere. And they just can't hop into the next vehicle in the driveway like you and I can hop into. So um, again, we'll provide, provide a loader vehicle when needed. I think that 24 hour uh, service line is really important. It's important, it is, yeah. yeah. So you build it and you take care of yes, it. Yes, we do. Tom, I feel like I'm walking down a hall of fame here. Got a few different awards for um, the volume we do with wheelchair lifts and, and things like that. Got a patent over here on some of the products that are designed for the full-size vans. Excellent. Kim, it's important to every business to have a, a good service team here. And you know, Pete's our service writer and Kelly's taking care of all these phones that I keep ringing here. And, Got a great team. You do, and and thank you so much for having us here and giving us a tour of this wonderful building. This is this is a, a great business. Thanks and for coming. Western New York Hope is really a something today. We're lucky to have you here. Great. Thank you, yeah. Tom. Main Mobility is Western New York's premier headquarters for accessible vehicles and modifications. Their consultants and technicians are specially trained to help you find the right vehicle and equipment for your needs, meeting or exceeding industry standards. Main Mobility will provide you with training in proper use, care and maintenance of your adaptive equipment and vehicle control system. You can find Main Mobility at 9580 Main Street in Clarence, New York. Call them at 716-75 Nine six eight one one, or go online at mainmobility.com.